How about no, now? You're not recording. Oh, now you are. Sweet. Okay. Thank you, sir. My assistant. So be sure you guys come here to classwork and you're going to see this topic here, math, November 16th through the 20th. So all your math assignments I'm going to put right here in Google Classroom. Now you're going to see three things. You're going to see, well, first on the top one, this is my class website. So this is what I was showing you guys in the beginning that, you know, you guys, you could use this to help you for your math um, topics right here. You got the instructional videos for orders of operations right there. Now, here are your three assignments uh, for today. This is not homework. This is classwork. I'm going to give you plenty of time to finish this here. And we're even going to do some of these together. We have one. The top one is your review. The middle one is going to be skills. And then the last one is orders of operations. So let's do this one first. That's the very last one that says orders of operation. Go ahead and click it and click the Sharon Wells link. And it should say orders of operations. Give me a thumbs up, flash me a thumbs up once you're there, where it says orders of operations. Be sure you signed in. So give me a thumbs up when you guys are there. Just flash me the, the little thumb, especially if your cameras are off, be sure that, that you show me a Sir, thumbs up. What was that, Miha? Okay, so everyone's there. You have a little thumb. Yeah. Orders of operations. Okay. So let's do this. Now, this is where you're going to need your notebook and pencil with you because it's really hard to try to do all your work here on the computer. So you guys can always copy the work in your notebook and just put your answer in the computer. Um, yeah, be sure you do that. Because if you try to do what I do on the screen, you can't do it. It's going to be really, really difficult. Okay, let me go ahead and zoom in. Sir. Yes, sir. How can we let you like like some things together? Then we go into breakout rooms to do the rest. I'll see. Uh, I'll let you know. That's fine. Let, let's do a couple of these together. So you guys got two pages to do for orders of operations, and we're going to do that right now. Now we're going to do number one together. We're going to do number seven. And then I'll explain to you what you guys got to do for the second page back over here. As always, if you guys have any questions or if you're confused with something, you know, let me know. Uh, that's why we're here. So the first things first, let's take a screenshot of Kenny. Let me go ahead and use a, a different pen. There we go. I'll, I'll use this one. So here's Kenny. If you don't know how to take a screenshot, you press Control Shift, and you press the little button that's on top of the number six on your on your Chromebook. It looks like it has a, a screen and like a little a little ones there. So here's Kenny. So let me finish drawing him so you can get a good picture of him. There's Kenny. So you can take a screenshot of him. And if you don't know how to do, uh, or if you guys have it in your notebook, if you guys have your journals, you can just draw Kenny really quick. So again, let me just remind you a few of the stuff. First, you do anything in groups, the parentheses or brackets. Once you have anything in parentheses or brackets, then you go down to either multiply or division. Now, Multiplication doesn't always come first. It's who's ever first. Multiplication or division. First come, first serve. Who's ever is first in line. And then you do addition and subtraction. Who's ever is first in line for that one, too. So we're going to do number one together. We're going to do 18 minus parentheses, 9 minus 2. So write that down in your journals. Give me a little thumbs up once you guys are done. Nice. And if you guys know the answer to this, you can drop it in the chat box. So look, let me look at my parentheses first. You see, I look at Kenny's head. So this is in parentheses first. So this right here. The one in parentheses first. 
Exactly. No matter, no matter if it's subtraction, addition, division, whatever it is, if it's in parentheses, you have to do it first. You have to. And then when you get your answer, you subtract it by the 18. Exactly. So when I get 9 minus 2, that's 2. And now I bring down the 18. 18 minus 2, and that will give me 16. And there it is. That's the order of operation. So 16 is for number one. Now let's go ahead and do number two. We'll do number two together. We have 27 minus 18. Put them in parentheses. Don't forget to copy the parentheses times 12. So now this is uh, some of the questions that I got from some students. Some students tell me, Mr. Chavez, do I multiply 18 times 12? Because multiplications first. What do you think? You do the things in the back of this. You have to you do and, and, Yeah, and just, just so you guys know, so don't get these confused. Right, the, right here, these are parentheses. This is brackets. The brackets look like little boxes. Um, you might not think, well, they're the same thing. No, because when you get to uh, sixth grade, there's going to be a big difference between the brackets and the parentheses. So anyways, um, yeah, you don't do this first. You have to do whatever's in the parentheses first. And some of the kids tell me, but Mr. Chavez, this is subtraction and this is multiplication. Multiplications first and then subtraction. Yes, they're right. But you have to do whatever's in the parentheses first, no matter what it is. So we have to do this yeah. first. We have to do 27 minus 18. I have a question. Yes, sir. How was number 116? I don't get it. I was number one sixteen. I think I did this one wrong. I think I did number one wrong because it shouldn't be sixteen. I think it's eleven, sir, because it's the parentheses. Yeah, I think I did that wrong. I let me let me redo it again. Good thing you saw that. Yeah, because I was like. Hold on, hold on. I, I I thought it was eleven, but you put sixteen, and I was yeah, like, Yeah, I think instead yeah, of I putting the seven. Was... Hold on. Yeah, because this is seven. Oh, so what I did was I just did eighteen minus two. Sorry, my bad. 18 minus oh. seven, and then it'll be 11. Yes, thank you, Eli, for bringing that up to me. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Doi. Remind me to give you guys dojo points. And to the people seeing my recording, all my subscribers, I am sorry, I do know how to subtract. I just had what we call in the no, science, what we saw in the scientific business, what we call this. I just had a brain fart. That's what that was. That's what we call it scientifically. I just had a mess up. So is it 27 minus 18, uh, 19, and then you're going to multiply 19 by 12? Let's see. So 27 minus 18. That's what we do first in the bracket. So let's see. 27 minus 18. I can't do that. So I got to borrow. And that turns into 17. 17 minus 8, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, nine, 10, nine, 9. Nine, nine, and then, nine. Mm -hmm. then we have 9. There we go. Yeah, because don't forget, and you then, have to borrow from him. Yeah, I forgot about that part. And then 9 min, divided by 12, 9 times 12 equals 108. Mm -hmm. So just to show you what she's seen, you're already done with this piece. So now you're just left with times 12. So you get 9 times 12, and that's 108. Eli, did I do it right this time? I believe so. Thanks, Jacob. I believe so, <laughs> sir. You do Emma, did I do it right this time, Emma? And then, yes. Thanks, Emma. I'm, I'm sad because I'm not seeing any of your memes today in the background. I don't see any of those pictures today. Man. 
So anyways, all right. So let me show you number seven because number seven can be a little bit confusing if you don't understand what it's talking about. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So let's make our way to number seven. Let me zoom in a little bit better. Okay. Um, can I have a volunteer to read me number seven? <laughs> uh, so me, me, me. Go ahead, uh, Alex. Go ahead and read me number seven. Uh, I don't know what that first word is supposed to oh, be. Oh, it's just know. it's just knowy. Yeah. Yeah, Noe. So, Noe, and go ahead and read me that time. Noe simplified the two. Noe simplified the two mathematical expressions from below. Now, this part. Melanie, can you? Oh, go ahead, Alex. The difference between the values of the two expressions. There you go. So, what is the difference? What is the difference between the values of the two expressions? So, you should, you guys should know that what is the difference? What is the difference usually means we're subtracting. Let me go ahead and make that a little bit better. So, we're going to be subtracting. Now, where it says the values, Matthew, we want to know the answers to this, Gia. So it's telling us like, let's, what's the answer for this one? What's the answer for this one? We need to find the answer for both of these. And then once we have the answer, then we're gonna subtract them both, okay? So we're, we're gonna be uh, sub subtracting both the answers. So let's find the answers first. So let's first do this one right here. So we're going to do 36 divided by 3. Okay, so that's what we're going to do first. Let's copy that equation down. 36 divided by 3 times 4 plus 8. Let's be sure we copy that down. So let's find the answer to that first. So you guys tell me, what would I do first? What's going to be the first thing that I do? Divide. Divide. Exactly. Uh, do your parentheses right here. So we got to divide 36 divided by 3. So I get 36 divided by 3. Okay. Um, 1 times 3 is 3. I subtract. Bring down the 6. What number times 3 can get me 6? 2. 2 times 3 gives me 6. And then I'm done. And there's my answer. 12. So this piece here is 12. So I'm done dividing 36 divided by three. So we're done with this piece. Now we bring this piece down, oops. Now we bring this piece down. We bring down times four plus eight. What comes next, guys? Am I gonna do 12 times four or do I add four plus eight? What comes next in the orders of operation? 12 times four? Yes. So I I'm do think so. 12 times four. So when I multiply 12 times four, does anyone, anyone know the answer? 12 times four? 48. 48. 48. 48. So then now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to bring this piece down. Now I just add 48, 48 plus, plus 8. 8. So mm -hmm. 8, plus eight, 8 plus 8 is 16. And then put the one up top. So it's the 56? 56. Yep. You're right. So here, we found the value. And this is what they mean by, when they say value, this is what they mean. The value is 56. 
Now, is that my answer? No, I'm not done yet. Let me erase this. Now we need to solve the other equation right here. We need to solve this one now. So let's get 36 divided by three times parentheses four plus eight, close parentheses. <coughs> so does it matter which parentheses I do, I do first? Yeah, it does. You got to go from left to right. So if going from left to right, we got to do first 36 divided by three. We did that earlier right here, 36 divided by three. We had our answer of 12. Then I copied it down times parentheses four plus eight. Now the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to add four plus eight. Why? Because it's in parentheses. Even though multiplication is here first, you don't multiply it. You got to solve the parentheses first. 12. And that's going to be 12. Thank you, Fernanda. So I'm done with this You're piece. Welcome. So now I have 12 times 12. That's a basic fact. 12 times 12. That should give me 144. That's why we do reflex. So you see, there's the value for this equation now. Now we're almost done. We're almost done. Now we're going to do the last part. The question's asking, what is the difference between the values of these two expressions? These are the values right there. So now what the difference means is to subtract. So I get 144 minus 56. Let's subtract them both and let's see what we get. I can't do so four you, minus six. So I have to you borrow. Can, yeah. And then put a 14 mm -hmm. up, up and then subtract that. So that's yep. 14 minus six to give me eight. Three minus five. Ooh, we can't do that. So I got to go away the one mm -hmm. and put a 13. And then 13 minus five is. Did you get it, Fernanda? 13 minus 5? What is it? Uh, 13 and then 3 minus 3, 8. 8. Yep. And there's what's left is 88 because here it's 0 minus 0. There's nothing. And now there is our answer. So number 7 is letter C, 88. C. Mm -hmm. Questions, comments? So what, what I did for number seven is what you're going to be doing something very similar to number eight. Number eight, the same thing. What is the difference between the values of the two expressions? So that's what you're doing. Okay. Now let me show you the second page. The second page, like when you look at number 11 on the second page, Number 11, I just want you to tell me, what do you do first? Here's your problem. What's the first step? You can type in the text box. Uh, my first step is, what do you do first? And then after that, hold on. After that, tell me what you did in the second step. What's the third step? And where it says value, that's where you give me the answer. What is the answer to this problem? That's for number 11. Number 10, just tell me how do I do this first? You know, so, and that's all you're gonna do. For right now, before we go to lunch, I want you guys to work on this assignment. You're gonna do the whole thing, starting from number one. Well, we already did number one, we did number two, and we did number seven. So you're gonna do the rest on your own right now. Right now you have plenty of time to work on page, this page and this page. Okay, that's what I want everyone to be doing right now on this page. 